Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a full face of first impressions. I recently just got on the BH Cosmetics website and I got a whole bunch of their palettes for like half price, honestly. Um, that's one of the websites you really need to pay attention to if you're looking for like cheap affordable products. Um, so I'm going to do a full face of First impressions, not everything is from BH Cosmetics. Uh, I did get on Ulta as well. I'm not sure if I said that or not. And I know I look roasted right now. It's because I went on a poker run this weekend and I am burnt to a crisp. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Actually, I'm gonna wipe my face off because it's so hot here. It is literally like 92 degrees. But I'm gonna use the Swispers. Um, makeup remover wipes. I know I don't have any makeup on, but I'm so oily that I like to like wipe my face off before I do makeup. I'm just gonna try and let this dry a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my Ulta Beauty Melting Moisturizer. It looks ratchet because I kind of spilled some stuff on it, but whoops. This stuff is so good, you literally need like none. And I really need to moisturize because my nose is like. Rudolph right now. So after this sinks in, I'm gonna go in with the um, photo finish, the smash, the smash box photo finish smooth and blur primer. Um, I've been using the Wet n Wild Dewy one, but it's summer, like, full of swing summer right now, so I don't think I really need any more help with the Dewy. And I'm, like, breaking out right now because I'm so stressed out. But I got into the LPN program for college. I just found out, this, like, last week. So the foundation I'm going to go in with is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup. It looks like really dark. I don't know. We're going to try it. I can't really tell because of my sunburn. But I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. It does have a pump, which is nice. And I've heard good things about this. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work for me personally, but... looks pretty dewy. I kind of really like it actually. I'm not sure if it really matches my skin. I can't really tell because I look like a cherry tomato right now, but it looks like it covers pretty good though. And I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in light sand. So now I'm going to go in with the, sorry, I have all my stuff in a, like a box right here. Ah! I'm going to go in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Um, I'm going to use this all over my face because I don't have a setting powder. And I'm going to go in with this Eco Tool brush. It looks ratchet right now, but it's fine. I thought it had a scent. So, I mean, I can definitely see that it's setting, like it's taken away the shine. I like this actually. I don't know if I'd use it all over my face again. 
because I don't want to look like uh, straight yellow, but I kind of really like the way it looks. I do like it under the eyes though. So, um, I have two other th face products from, uh, two other face products. I don't like how the palette is like, I have like five different highlighters I need to use, like I want to use. <laughs> but I'm going to go in with the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzer Powder in the lighter skin one. It still like looks kind of weird. It's... This smells so good though. Like honestly, I really like it. So what I do to do my bronzer, I have a ratchet brush, so sorry. I really need to invest in new brushes, but just take this big brush and just So now I'm going to go in with the, what the ratchet, with the, uh, wow, I'm a mess. The Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love. I have the one in Satin Coral, I think. But look, mm, with my Coastal Scents stippling brush, it's like a, VRC S55 brush, but it was just like stippling brush, I think, on their website. I love Essence blushes. So now, um, this is how I do my highlighter. I just need to figure out what highlighter I want to freaking use first. Okay, so I have one from Essence. When you spend $15, I think, when I ordered stuff from Ulta, you got this bag with a highlighter. And it's the pure nude one. Like, I really like this, honestly. Let's watch it. Like, it just looks so... Like, it's not even, like, straight glitter. It's just, like, really pretty. I have the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette, which comes with all of these. And then I also have these highlighters. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with the eyes first, so. I think I'm just gonna go in with the Essence Pure Nude one for now because it's, it's a little bit more basic. But what I do first, I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques fan brush. I really like this brush for highlighting, but I'm gonna go in with the Hard Candy Long Wear Sheer and the setting spray it's a 12 hour wear and we need to lock it in place okay I look like a wet dog but when it's like semi like dried down that's when I go in with my fan brush and just because it makes it more like reflective I guess They're like holographic ones, I think. But this one's really pretty. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I do things so much different than like half these people do on YouTube. Um, whoops. I want to use. But I'm going to go in with the Flower Beauty So I guess my only problem really with this is it did get really dull. So it was harder to get like precise um, brows. But I do overall like this. I might like it in a lighter shade maybe. And I'm just gonna set that with my Essence Brow Gel. 
is where we have a problem because um, I have an addiction to um, makeup. So I got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Y'all, did you see her new ones coming out? Mm. So pretty. I haven't even touched a single shade no. in here. I have the Shanixel Remix. So this is the Remix side. And I really like these colors. Like, they're not colors you would think that would go together well, but they do. And then this is, like, her original side. And then I have the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. These are so pretty, but I don't know what to do. And then last but not least, I have the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. Which, about this palette, if you guys want it, they are actually it's just like on its farewell tour. So it's on sale at Ulta for $13.50 and it's almost always on sale on BH Cosmetics where I got it from. I think I'm just going to go in the, with the Carly Bible palette. This color. Okay. Where'd it go? This color right here. Now I'm going to go in with the color right below it, this mauve color. Mauve, I don't know how to say it. I think that's all I'm going to do on the crease. And then I'm going to try and find my brush that I cut the crease with. It's just like that. And I'm going to cut the crease with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is about to be hella nerve-wracking because I'm not that good at... I'm then going to go in with this shade right here. It's like purple. And I'm going to pack that all over the lid. Okay, so I finished my other eye, and this is what it looks like. So now I'm just going to do the lower lash line and put on some mascara. So for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take the same colors I pretty much took for the crease, which are these two. Oh, maybe if you can see them. These two. The mauve and the like warm brown. And I'm just going to take this on another Coastal Scents brush. It's a... B R B S O five. I don't really like saying these names because they don't like it's such a long name. Uh, lights camera lashes and this is like the mermaid edition one I'm pretty sure so that's all for this video guys um, I overall really like how everything turned out I think it looks pretty good so if you guys would like to see anything else from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video if you'd like to see more looks, including these new palettes that I haven't got to try out yet. And I'll see you in my next video.